Hi and welcome to this crochet stitch tutorial. I'm Yanna and I'm going to teach you step by step how this crochet stitch is done. If you really love what I'm doing here, please subscribe to my channel. And if you love what I'm doing even more, please subscribe to my newsletters where I've got the link below here. And happy crocheting! Hi and welcome to the tutorial for the bubble pattern. The bubble pattern is a stitch I learned many years ago and I've used it for many crochet pattern designs. So today I'm teaching you how to do this stitch. Uh, I'll show you how to crochet the bubble pattern in rows for this video. So let's dive into it. I'm going to grab my yarn and hook. Right now I'm using some scrap yarn uh, or my favorite cotton yarn. It's from Wool and the Gang. Uh, it's the Happy Shiny Cotton. I've linked to that in the description. And this is my favorite padded hooks from Knit Pro. So I will also link to them uh, down below. So for this tutorial, I'm going to um, do 10 stitches or 10 chains. So I'm chaining 10. This is my 10 chains and um, when I start this pattern I'm going to start in the third chain from the hook um, to do the bubble. So it's drop a loop, yarn over and drop a loop. Then I have four loops on the hook. I'm going to yarn over again and pull through all stitches. Then I'm going to chain one. I'm going to skip one stitch or chain and go through the next one. I'm going to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop from the same stitch. I'm going to yarn over again and pull through the four loops on the hook. Then I'm going to chain again. Then I'm going to skip this stitch or chain here and go through the next one. I'm going to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop from the cha same chain and yarn over and go through all four loops on the hook. I'm going to chain once more. I'm going to skip one chain from the previous row and go through the next one. I'm pulling up a loop. I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to pull up a loop from the same stitch. I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to go through all four loops on a hook. I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to do a single crochet in the last stitch. So I'll do four all rows with the bubble pattern. So a single crochet in the end. So I finished the first row and it looks like this. So I'm counting that I have 10 stitches here and I'm going to show you where it is. It's this one. The last chain you made is the first chain or stitch for this row. Then you have two stitches for the bubble pattern, two, 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 and then you have the single crochet in the end. So you have 10 stitches here. Then I'm going to turn and show you how to do the second row. Starting each row with chain one, then I'm skipping the chain I made here and I'm going to the next one to do a bubble. So I'm going through, I'm going to pull up a loop, yarn over and pull up a loop again. I'm going to yarn over and go through all four loops on the hook. I'm going to chain one. Then I'm going to skip this chain from the previous row and go through the 
bubble pattern again. I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to pull up a loop again. And I'm going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on the hook. Repeating that step. Uh, chain one. Skip the chain from the previous row and go through the bubble. I'm going to pull up a loop. Yarn over. Pull up loop, yarn over, and go through all four loops on the hook. I'm going to chain again, skip the chain from the previous row and go through the bubble, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through all four loops on the hook. Then I'm going to chain one, then I'm going to do a single crochet in this last stitch here. And that's how it's going to look after row one. So because I have so few stitches here it looks like it's shifting that way but when you go back it's going to shift that way again. So I'll show you that. During the third row I'm going to do it a little bit faster. So starting all the rows with chain one, I'm going to skip that stitch and go through the bubble. I'm going to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop again. I'm going to yarn over and go through all four loops on the hook. I'm going to chain one once more, skip the chain and go through the uh, bubble. Pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull up a loop again. I'm going to yarn over, go through all loops on hook, and chain one. Skip the chain and go through the bubble. Pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop again, yarn over and go through all four stitches, and chain one. Repeating the last time. Chain one and go through the chain and do a single crochet. So it's going to look like this. Putting a little bit closer you can see that it's shifting from side to side but you can see because we we're missing the bubble that will come here later you, you can see how this uh, edges are starting to straighten here and it's going to straighten here as well. So if we pull a little bit here, you can see how it's actually going to look. So this is one of my favorite stitch patterns. And if you go to Joe Motion Crochet, you're going to find a lot of pattern used, uh, patterns using uh, this stitch. So I encourage you to go check it out. And also go check out the yarns and the hooks that I used following my affiliate links in the description. Thank you so much. Happy crocheting!